there are students in Ohio that are afraid to speak out. They feel intimidated that that if they object to men in, or, or boys in the girls' restroom, that if they say something, they'll be, in, they'll be canceled. They'll be criticized. A new bill at the State House now makes three pieces of legislation that address transgender Ohioans all introduced by Republicans. We thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Jared Small. And I'm Sierra Johnson. Jennifer is off this evening. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fahmy joins us live to tell us about the new bill that would address bathroom use. Natalie. The Republican bill is all about single sex bathroom access in primary and secondary schools and colleges and universities. The bill sponsor tells me it's all about safety while lawmakers across the aisle are calling it an attack. It's culture wars, right? And we have more important things to do. I have had schools and superintendents reach out to me telling me about the need for this kind of bill. Representative Adam Byrd is one of the sponsors of House Bill 183. The bill would prohibit someone from the male biological sex to use a student restroom, locker room, changing room, or shower room that's designated by the school for exclusive use of the female biological sex. We want to provide safety for our, our, our daughters, our granddaughters here in Ohio. And so most time when someone walks into a bathroom, they expect that to be a place of safety and not worrying about whether a, a man is walking into that restroom. Bird tells me he is working for his constituent to have complained about the issue, both students and parents, but says often they're afraid to talk about it publicly out of fear of criticism. There's a silent majority and a vast majority, I believe, of Ohioans that believe that these kinds of bills are the right direction and they're just not willing to talk about it. But Representative Casey Weinstein says it's a non-issue. It's a non Another divisive attacking solution looking for a problem. I have not heard of a single issue from across Ohio of students being concerned or complaining about this. This bill is not the first in the Ohio State House that addresses transgender people. There's one to ban transgender women and girls from female sports and another to prohibit gender affirming care for minors. Isn't it consistent to move in this direction as far as bathroom use too? So just trying to be consistent. For the first time in Ohio history, our population decreased over the last two years, uh, people are moving out of the state. Um, and I think it's a direct reflection of the policies that we're pushing here. 21 Republicans have signed on to the new bill. It will likely have its first committee hearing within the next few weeks. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.